Hey Sadie Kids, welcome back. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, which means we are still celebrating that Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And today I want you to think of a time when you saw a magic trick. Maybe you were watching TV, you saw it on TV, or maybe you were at a birthday party and you saw someone do something that you just couldn't believe. I'm thinking of a time when I was at a birthday party at church and I saw a clown pull a rabbit out of a hat. And I saw it happen with my own eyes, but I knew in my head that it just could not be true. It could not be possible that the empty hat all of a sudden had a rabbit coming out of it. So I wanted to get closer. I wanted to take a closer look and learn what was the truth? What was the trick behind this? Well, today we're going to hear a story about some of Jesus's friends who saw something that they could not believe was true, and they had to get a closer look as well. So let's hear that story together now. Jesus's friends were afraid, so they were hiding in an upstairs room with the door bolted shut. But that didn't stop Jesus. He just walked straight through the wall. It's a ghost, Thomas screamed and hid under the table. But it wasn't a ghost. I'm hungry, Jesus said. What's for lunch? Peter gave him a fish. They all hung back and watched him eat it. This can't be, they were telling themselves. It's impossible. It's not happening. But it was right in front of them. Delicious. Jesus wiped his mouth with the back of his hand and grinned. Can a ghost do that? He winked, and then they all laughed. I'm really here, Jesus said, and he really was. Peter's heart leapt with joy, and he fell into Jesus' arms, hugging and kissing him. The others followed. They felt their hearts would burst from the happiness. The friends ate together and chatted happily, and every now and then, they just gaze at Jesus and have to touch him to be sure they weren't dreaming. Jesus had a real body, but this body was better. It had come through death and couldn't get sick or be killed again. This body would live forever. Jesus had come back with a brand new body. Not only were sad things coming untrue, the friends realized they were becoming new again. Was God going to make everything new? Jesus said, I am the savior and the rescuer of the world. And they knew because he couldn't stay dead because Jesus had come alive again, that somehow everything would be all right. Well, as we heard in that story, Jesus's friends were still very sad about everything that had happened on Good Friday. And they were very afraid that maybe something like that would happen to them as well. So they were hiding with all the doors locked and all the windows shut. But suddenly Jesus appeared right before them and they could not believe their eyes. Was it some kind of magic trick or was he a ghost? Jesus knew that they were afraid and that they were doubting it could be true. So he reached out to them and he came close to them. He even let them put their hands on the wounds in his, in his hands and in his side. He even ate real food right in front of them so that they could see he was not a ghost. Jesus came close to them so that they could see he really did rise from the dead and he defeated all of sin and death for them. It's such good news for us today as we remember Jesus rose from the dead for us too. And we know that when we're afraid or when we're sad, or when we doubt, Jesus comes close to us and he reminds us and he reassures us that he rose from the dead and conquered all sin and death for us too. We pray for you and for your families today as you spend time reflecting on God's word and we hope that you'll do some of the activities that we have linked to this video um, so that you can learn more about these stories and about all of God's promises for you. We're praying for you and we pray that God would bless you this week.